Hi everyone, it's Laura again, Hyper Stamper. I just finished today's Antique Junk Journal and I used this very well loved and worn uh, Bobsy Twins book, Bobsy Twins on Blueberry Island. I've done a few of these, this exact cover here, but I just love how worn this one is. I just think it's so sweet. Um, it was completely torn apart from the back so it came in with an elastic band as many of mine do because I, I buy them destroyed and um so i just made a, a make do spine there and covered it with some antique crochet and i got out my vintage beads made a little bangle here with some matching ribbons this is a book from uh, 1917 it's very old and uh everything inside is real antique and vintage ephemera. I haven't used any commercial products as I never ever do. And I would like to take on a little tour before I put it in my Etsy shop at hyperstamper.etsy.com. Okay, here we go. You ready? I love it already. Okay, so these are the first original pages of the book. That's the first original plate there. And then I've got these wonderful little children's book pages here from the 30s. This one here is beautiful. It's from 1925, things to make and do. But it's a uh, a photograph of a uh, embroidery sampler which was a big thing for girls to do my henna is on a tattoo okay i have to keep saying that somebody emailed me and said did you get a tattoo <laughs> here is just a really fun uh magazine ad Jemima waffles and this is from 1959 just nice and colorful and fun to have this pocket's made from a 1904 book and this here is a beautiful little 1920s a book page that I just thought was so colorful and pretty I left it as is. This plate here is beautiful. It's from a 1940s Theatre World magazine. And then this very old book page I turned into a pocket here. And we've got Miss Moppet here from 1904. Isn't that pretty? That's a Beatrix Potter uh, plate there. And this little five page botanical book here, vintage. And with it, I added this pretty little set of petals. Isn't that lovely? Just for fun. You can glue them around your journal once you, you have it, if you like. Spread it around. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... I got this wonderful box of uh, sentence cards. And I was just going to say I'm going to try to find one. And so I'll use the word find. There's another find there. And I think I'm going to... Hold on. Let me grab some glue here. I'm gonna glue that on right there. I just, I've been dying to use this and let's use it right now. Here we go. Ta-da! Wonderful. And while that's drying, I'm gonna show you this pretty little piece here. This is from the 50s, a little Hallmark card that was never used. It's a little get well card. Glad you're better. Isn't that wonderful? I just think it's so sweet. And I made the pocket out of a 1930s children's book page. And this is just a little um, waterfall journaling space here on top of that 1925 things to make and do and I just I just liked that out of a book that had the tape on it and some vintage fabric up there an embroidery page here from the 50s and look at this beautiful postcard the ships it's hand colored and that would be from uh, pre-1910 and then this here is a wonderful plate from the early 1900s that is the original Storybook for Beauty and the Beast. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, this is so wonderful. One of my favorite cartoons as well, quite special in my family. And here is a vintage handkerchief here. Isn't that pretty? And you can do whatever you like with that. I just, I love to include fabric of some kind in as many germs as I can. And here is one of these, which I got in my recent haul. A flinch card. If somebody who purchases the journal wants a different number, they can certainly let me know. Maybe there's a number that's meaningful to a birthday or something. And this is one of these wonderful uh, antique tickets here from England. That would have been the bus ticket. Pretty cool, huh? Look at these little, little babies here. The mammal study. Bunch of baby mammals. <laughs> and there's a little squirrel. Yeah, Handbook of Nature Studies. And this is from 1904. That is uh, from my English Countryside book series. This is some from a vintage book here. I did some hand stamping on it. It's another mammal study page. And just a little bangle there on a paper clip. And then this is from the 1880s, a little poem about dandelions. Look at that image. Isn't that pretty? 
and I, I didn't want to cover it, so I just added a piece of antique paper on the other side for you to journal on. I just think it's really special. You can remove that. In here, just a couple of really fun little advertisements that I found. Remember these? Photo Rolodex cards, flavored dog toys, lollipops. And then I just thought this was really fun from the 50s. There we go, and that's all on top of a vintage music sheet. And then this pocket here is from an antique book from the 1800s. And then just some blank pages that you can journal on from antique books. Isn't that great? As many as I can, I put in there. Vintage dictionary page, vintage botanical page, vintage flip chart paper. This is from the 1930s about bookkeeping. And this is opened up as the obviously it's the cover of my birds of north america which i use these plates all the time and i once i pulled all the plates out i still had this left so i made, turned it into a journaling page how fun and a little bit of doily there this is also one of the things from my recent haul this is twill tape and uh it is one and three quarter yards and this is from england isn't that beautiful a little empty recipe card there vintage as well and then this was the cover of an antique book the book cover that uh, just fell apart so i turned it into tags and i put this from uh, 1895 on there Isn't that beautiful reversible colors and cuffs now it's all made on a 1955 stamp collector's book page here's this page here's from the 40s children's school book page this is a little research paper it's dated 1889 and then here we have just another little, oh, I should have put that in my squirrel journal, my squirrel, but I have lots of squirrel ephemera, and that is for journaling. And as well, I'm almost done my Halloween junk journal, the first of two. I only have enough ephemera to fill two, so that's coming soon. I've been working on them for quite a few months. More bird pages from the 20s, 40s, fun clusters. This is a great little page here from a children's book. Isn't that great? How to make these pinwheels. I love it. And then on the back here, I just put in this. Let me pull it out here. There we go. Another little pocket from a children's book page. And inside, I put another children's book page with antique paper on the back for a hidden journaling spot there. It's just hiding in there like that. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. Hyperstamper.etsy.com. And I hope you'll come back soon. Bye for now.